Hi, welcome to the Me and My Base series. In this series, I will bore you again with some interesting facts about some of the bases I own. I will tell you uh, how I did purchase them and why. Further, I will tell you uh, my opinion about the playability and sound. This time's up, the Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass 1977 from 2010. This base is crafted in Indonesia by Cortec, that's Cort, uh, in a, a Fender special run. The body is Agatis, it has a maple neck and a maple fretboard. The, there's 20 uh, medium jumbo frets. The inlays are white perloid block position inlays and the neck finish is polyuterane. The pickups are two Duncan designed JB101 single coil jazz bass pickups. And the controls are volume volume uh, for the neck and the bridge pickup and a master tone. The hardware is chrome. The neck plate is a standard uh, four bolt. The bridge is a standard four saddle and the string nut is a synthetic bone. I bought this base in uh, 2020 from uh, a girl in uh, here, Hugo Waard. Why did I buy this base? As I found out, over time, I really like maple fretboards. The Sterling Sub and the Squire Pete Wentz bass had those as well. So when I saw this bass for sale for a really good price, maybe because the advertisement didn't mention it was a Squire Vintage Modified, I wanted to buy it and so I did. But first, this what Fender slash Squire had to say about this bass. The Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass offsets a waist body and an ultra slim fast action maple neck make this a truly outstanding instrument in its class. Although its basswood body design and overall appearance are clear nods to the past, the Vintage Modified Jazz Bass also incorporates some futuristic elements such as high-end cosmetic touches and sizzling Fender designed Jazz Bass single coil pickups. A mouthful. The value packed Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass is an excellent entry intermediate level instrument for any bassist. I'm an entry level bassist, so this is the bass for me. What attracted me to buy this bass was the fact that I always wanted a decent jazz bass. And I read and saw some raving reviews of these vintage modified basses. So I just took the chance while I had it. The weight is not that heavy. The neck profile is uh, what every jazz bass has. It's slim and it uh, plays and feels great. Here is a small example how it sounds. First the bass solo and then the bass in context with drums and guitar.
signal flow in this clip was again the bass direct into a UID Apollo twin with an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the Rock A preset. It's a good sounding, good playing bass. If you're looking for an affordable jazz bass, check these basses out. They're not that expensive and do the job just fine. That's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, in the lower right corner, you see a little red box. If you look very closely, if you push that, you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you. Bye bye.